I breathe like a cow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie Makeup and I have new hair. I went darker with my hair. I was kind of getting over the bleaching of my hair because it was so dead. So I decided to go darker with it. It's nice and black. I like it a lot. I feel like it looks more masculine. If that's yeah, I feel like it looks more masculine. So today I'm going to be showing you my normal everyday makeup routine, even though I don't do this every day. It's a makeup that I wear to like work if I don't feel like going full beat. It's very I'd say boy makeup. I'm gonna do some pretty intense eyebrows, but it's makeup a guy could wear. It's very non-clockable. It focuses heavily on the skin and making the skin look really nice and pretty. There's no eye makeup involved. There's really just skin and eyebrows. So uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it if you would. And hit that little no uh, hit that little bell notification down the bottom so you get notified every single time I upload. So let's start the video. So we are gonna start off with primer still. I am going to be going in with the NARS Port and Shine Control Primer. It looks like this. Just gonna get a little bit on my hand, not too much. Let's say about that much. And I work it into my skin. Forehead, nose, area, they're like my most problematic areas. Next, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Next to Nothing face color. Looks like this. And this is really nice, like literally there is barely any coverage to this at all. So this is a very, very light makeup look besides the eyebrows that I'm gonna do. But it's really nice, really sheer, really, I would say unclockable besides the eyebrows. But I'm gonna do four pumps. And I use a beauty blender. The Beauty Blender does soak up a bit of product, but I like it because it's more controllable. I don't like using brushes at all for my foundation. I only like using sponges. I'm just gonna go in and start bouncing this in. You can see like there's like barely anything to it. Like I'll put it over this pimple that I have. And you can see that. It gets rid of some of the redness of the pimple, but not really a lot. Like over here. Since my head is shaved, I always bring it way far back, back here, to make the blending easier. Do you hear that? It's my eye. Am I gonna get too hard? Am I gonna go blind? And there, like literally, it probably looks like I did absolutely nothing to my skin, but it's very like dewy and hydrated right now. And it did give my skin some coverage. Next, I'm gonna go in with the tiniest, tiniest bit of NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in vanilla, light two. And just do a little, little bit, just to help cover up some darkness. And down the bridge of the nose, we're gonna go. And blend that in now. And I love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for this because it's not full coverage concealer. And it's like a very skin-like finish. There. Now that the concealer is done, I don't know if you could probably see it, probably not. But it's very nice, very light. And now I just take the tiniest, tiniest bit of setting powder to set my under eye. I don't set my whole face when I do this. It like dries down nicely. I only set my under eye and I'm taking my RCMA No Color Powder that I have reused <laughs> into this. Uh, Paracone MD moisturizer jar because I liked the jar and I didn't like the um, the bottle for the RCMA powder, so I just put it in here. We use it, and literally I'm taking the littlest bit, just like that, and pushing it into my under eye and on my lid because I didn't want my lid to crease. And that's it for that. Now we're gonna go on to. Just doing a tiny, 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 tiny bit of bronzing, like very tiny. I'm really just taking the Benefit brush that comes with the Hula Bronzer and the Benefit Hula Bronzer and just dipping in. 
once real quick and going down the sides of the nose, give it some dimension. That's it for the nose. And then I'm gonna take this Urban Decay large powder brush that looks like this. Just dip in real quick and go on the temples. So we got a tiny, tiny bit of natural bronzing. And down the sides of the face, blending into the hairline. Very, very tiny bit of bronzing. My face looks snatched right now. Looks like it, like, I think it, it literally looks like skin. Like, I don't know how else to put it. This is why it's good makeup for guys. If you want to wear a little bit and even a little bit of your skin tone, it's not noticeable makeup. What I'm about to do is going to be the most dramatic thing of this whole makeup look, which is about to draw on eyebrows, because I don't like my natural brows. So I like a very defined brow, and that's what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in shade Chocolate. I should probably get a darker hair. I should probably get a darker color because of my hair now. And then where's my brush that I use for this? This is the MAC 265 brush, this angled brush right here. And I like a nice, like, defined brow, so I'm gonna get some. I need another mirror for this. Okay, so for my brow, this is how I do a brow. I go in. All right, that's the top of it. Now it's so hard, because I had a bad waxing experience in my, my left brow, so this one just never decided to grow fully back in, so I have to cheat the margins with it. So it's kind of hard. My eyebrows are never perfectly the same, and it pisses me off. There, now that the brows are finally done, I'm just going to lock them into place using the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. There's that. And there's literally just two more steps. That's it, we're done after that. It's easy, it's simple, bada bing, bada boom, forget about it. I'm just gonna add a little tiny, tiny bit of highlight. My favorite highlight to use for this is MIA. So the highlight I use for this because it's blinding if you want it to be blinding, but it's very subtle if you want it to be subtle. It is the MAC O oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Looks like this. It's a nice gold color and I literally just take my Sephora highlighting brush, this one right here, and just boop boop, that's it, and just do a little tiny bit, just to give that nice dewy skin like look. That's all, and then the very very last step. Let's just lock it in place. I'm going to be using the MAC Charged Water Charcoal Spray, this. And that's all that we have to do. So if you guys like this, let me know down in the comments section. If you want me to do more boy looks, I'm gonna call it. Let me know. Don't forget to like this. This is this is this is. Don't forget to like this video. My social medias will be down in the description box. Everything that I use will be down in the description box. And also, if you guys like really really cool different clothing, I'm gonna leave a link down there to a site called Alien Outfitters where they have really cool clothing. They have um, recreational devices if you know what I mean. They have fun toys, if you know what I mean, but the link I'm going to leave down in the description box will get you 15% off of your first purchase, because I am a model for them. If you didn't know that, you should, because it's on my Instagram. I do modeling for them, so they gave me a link to give to you guys that when you order off of it, 15% off of your first purchase. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.